Hey dad, what's up? Uh, just wanna say happy birthday to you, first off. Um, 60 years old, congrats on everything. Congrats on your success. Um, so mom approached us uh, when I was back home to make a video, uh, getting some of the ex-players to kind of reach out to you and talk about how you impacted their career, say happy birthday and whatnot. I thought about editing it, but I thought the best way was to just let them all just say their message at once because all of them have great stories and, and great things to say about you. So I decided not to touch it because it's way more beautiful um, that you can see their full message. Um, so we, so Joe and I contacted a lot of people to say happy birthday to you and possibly share a story, a favorite moment from you. And uh, I hope you enjoy. And again, happy birthday. Hi, Roger. Uh, happy 60th birthday. I hope you and Christine and the boys are all doing well. Uh, so I was asked for my favorite memory. My favorite memory is the time we spent in New York City for the NYU tournament every season. Um, it was really, at the time, it, it was my first um, time being to a Broadway show um, or like going out for dinner, anything in the city. So that was really special. And I remember at Mamma Mia, you were standing in your seat dancing. You might have even been in the aisle, if I remember that correctly. So it was... Um, it was fun seeing another side to you every year. It was a special thing we got to do with you. Um, and then if I can say another memory, because I know this is my brother Donnie's favorite memory of you, because he talks about it still from time to time, was uh, during a game, I don't know who we were playing, but a girl on the other team double touched a ball and you just kind of held you know, your hand up like this so the official could see that he missed a call and you knew it and um, you kept the sign up there for like the whole next play. So then the down official approached you to talk to, to you about it. And all you did was you, you took your hand, you shifted it and put it right in the down official's face and said nothing. And he walked away. And it was one of the funniest things we've seen during a volleyball match. Um, but yeah, those were our favorite memories of you. Um, but I think about our time together often and I hope you guys are all doing well. Bye, Worsley's. Hey, hey, Worsley's. Big Raj. 60. Boy, what a change for you that's going to be. We're wishing you the best here in the great Northeast. It's not even cold. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Raj. Happy birthday, Raj. What's up, coach? Happy birthday. Uh, I know Gage is putting together a little video. Um, I would say one of my favorite stories about you or something that comes to mind is I have this picture of you waving goodbye uh, to the HBC crowd, um, to that little that little group of HBC players um, after we had won, <laughs> which just, um, I think, sums you up pretty nicely. Uh, but I hope we have a good birthday. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys soon, maybe sometime in the summer. Um, but yeah, happy birthday, coach. Hi, you guys. Happy 2021 from myself and Mackenzie over here. I hope you guys are uh, having a good start to your year. And Roger, happy birthday. Um, I hope you're able to find some way to get out of the house and uh, celebrate. But, you know, I'm thinking back of all of the uh, years that you coached me and there are so many good memories, but I think my highlight was probably the year that we came in fifth place at East Coast Championships. I remember nobody expected us to do that well. And, uh, it was just really great surprising everyone. And I just remember how proud you were, how proud the parents all were. And uh, that's probably the highest I ever ended up placing at any uh, national tournament. So that was uh, that was a highlight for sure. Another uh, funny memory that wasn't fun at the time, but ended up being funny now to look back on, is uh, was when we were on 14s and you had us run suicides with your college girls and I just remember it was I mean, it was brutal but it's just a funny memory to look back on but a lot of the lessons that you taught me as a volleyball player um, and like mentality uh, I carried that on to uh, when I started coaching 14 under a couple of years ago um, and it, it was just really cool to kind of see things go full circle but I hope you have a great birthday and um, that you guys are all doing well and staying healthy. All right, from us, bye. <laughs> hey Raj, happy 29th birthday. 
Um, on behalf of a lot of us, I think we want to say thank you for all of the life lessons, uh, all of the amazing coachable moments, and all of the crazy fun memories. Um, you've been a huge part of my life the past 10 years, and, and I owe you a lot to who I am today. So um, thank you for everything. I hope you have a really awesome day, and uh, stay safe, and looking forward to seeing you soon. Happy birthday, Uncle Roger. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for making me the volleyball player I am today. So I remember a time when we had practice all day. I think it was during the summer or the winter. One of the times we had training all day and uh, we were about to get ready for bed because we had practice early in the morning and there was probably like four or five players in the room in Gage's room and we had been laughing, talking. We might have already gotten a warning to be quiet, but I remember late in the night, Roger comes out of nowhere, screams at everybody, and I remember the two things he said was, Addie, you're going downstairs to sleep, and Zevin, you're going to Mitch's house. And I just remember how funny everyone thought that was, and anyways, happy birthday. Love you guys, miss you guys. Um, yeah. Hi, my name is Joanne, and Roger coached me back in high school, and I was a setter. Uh, I remember one practice where he taught everybody how to pancake, and the next day on a game, the majority of the players were pancaking the ball instead of passing the ball. Needless to say, we didn't do well, and after the game, I got reamed by Roger, because for those of you who set for Roger know that he gives special treatment to, to the setters, and as I was getting reamed, I shot back and said, you have the video, watch it. Everyone was pancaking. It's not my fault. Um, the next day at practice, he basically told everybody that they weren't allowed to pancake anymore. So I guess I really appreciated that Roger actually listened to what I had to say. Anyway, happy birthday, Roger. Have a great day. Bye. Being 60, almost. Roger, you beat me there. I am going to use my glasses and read. I'm a bit of a loss where to begin as Roger and I are going into our sixth decade of being best friends. I could go on for hours with stories, anecdotes, and reflections on our friendship and his life well lived. But if I do that, I may tear up. And at times, if I do, Roger would want to come up here and kick my ass. Which I don't have any doubt he could still do. And if there's any question, he'd bring his boys, his backup. Um, I do want to begin with, I think, Roger, the smartest thing you ever did in your life was marry Christine. And of all Roger's enduring legacies, his part in raising his boys may be his, your greatest, Roger, as your boys are as good as it gets. But with that said, here's a very brief outline of some highlights of our past. If you know Roger, you know he's a unique in a very good and sometimes very hard to understand way. Someone you'd want to be in a foxhole with doesn't really do Roger justice to his person, principles, or sense of loyalty. And I can't think of one time that Roger let me down. But if you cross the line with Roger, his deep sense of principle will not waver. You will know it. And that has been a guiding light for me many times in my life. Roger knows how to get a person's attention. He knows how to have fun and knows how to live life to the fullest. And all the while, knows how to do the right thing no matter what it means, his own sense of well-being. Roger and I met in the third grade. An ongoing debate, whether it was third, fourth, or second grade, but who can remember at our age? I had known Roger only a week or two at school when one day I looked down the street and saw him coming around the corner down our, our road with pushing a lawnmower. I watched him push it towards me for a couple of minutes and a couple of hundred yards. And when he got to me, we were both surprised that he was at my house. I asked him what he's doing and he told me he was looking for work. What do you think? Can't you see the lawnmower? And I told him this is my territory. He looked at me 
with kind of a quizzical, steely-eyed look and said, where's your lawnmower? Well, that ended that debate and we became fast friends. Unfortunately, shortly thereafter, we were hit by the Ochoa curse and from fourth grade on, I don't think we ever had a class together again. But real friends don't need close proximity and that's what we'd already become. Not always without conflict. I do remember Roger shooting me with a BB gun in the back. I asked him why he did that and he looked at me again with those questioning and steely eyes and said, to see if it would hurt. No apologies, simple as that. When I did get hurt, Roger seemed to always be there to reset the dislocated shoulder, the first one to show up to the hospital to visit me. If, I, if we had a mutual friend, and if that friend, even in a slight way, crossed me, that was it for Roger. He wrote that friend off. That's loyalty that I can't really think of matching to this day. On the fun side, Roger would not qualify as the type of person who would ever join a club or be a social climber. But I've been lucky enough to be a member of a few clubs with Roger. Actually, several clubs. The 55 mile an hour club, the pyro club, the Central Park Club, just to name a few. I watched Roger lead the cheer team in high school, something that was not done back then. And that's just one of the many examples of Roger taking the path less trod to have fun and shake things up. Uh, as I said, I could go on and on, um, but Gage said to make this a short video. So I'll cut it short. Roger, I look forward to getting together soon and doing a good reminiscence of all the decades past and talking about looking forward to the next few decades of friendship to come. Maybe I'll even talk you into taking a double shot of whiskey with me. To Roger on your 60th, cheers, many more to come. Here's to you, buddy. Oh, I don't know if we're on here. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Roger. <laughs> Happy birthday, Roger. I forgot to flip it around. <laughs> hey, Uncle Roger, Brother Roger. Happy birthday. And just a quick story, so we're in Holiday Park. I decide to build a ramp on the tree fort, which precisely, the moment I step on it the second time, falls down 10 feet, I start crying. But I think Roger got the idea that, hey, this kid's so stupid, I could put him up on a hill, on a mountain, with a very small, fine line of, uh, of uh, rip cord that I'll have him climb. And of course, I fell down that mountain as well. But I think that's where Roger got the idea is after seeing me fall out of the treehouse that, hey, this kid's pretty stupid. So uh, there's a memory for you, Raj. Happy birthday. Love you. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Roger. Happy birthday. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Uh, I wish I could be home uh, celebrating as a family. But uh, I know Mom's taking good care of you. Um, you know, some of the... My favorite memories for sure up there is what we were able to accomplish as a family on the volleyball court. Um, but secondly, kind of all the summers and all the really fun trips that you and mom always took us on. Uh, you know, I think Gage and I have appreciated that even more so later on down the road um, with all the experiences we got to do and really appreciate. And, um, I'm glad that we were able to do that, especially uh, at su such a young age. So, love you. Happy birthday. Uh, Mom, take care of Dad today. Um, and uh, hopefully we're together soon. Hey, Dad. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I sure definitely did. And, you know, it, just kind of seeing all the old videos of just people, how many people and how many different parts of your life you affected was super, super, um, super special, you know? Uh, shows you how lucky we, uh, Joe and I had it and how special you guys are as parents. Um, you provide a life that not many would make sacrifice to and I'm, I'm very, very grateful to it. And that's why I know Joe and I are the place we are today. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed all the fun stories that everyone enjoyed. I definitely did. And um, again, you're one of a kind. You're very, very special. Mom, make sure dad doesn't get too plastered and wasted today. Um, 
other than that, happy birthday, Dad. And uh, I'll probably have, maybe have called you by now. But if I have it, I'll be calling you soon. Happy birthday.